Hello everyone and today we are going to talk on another very interesting topic in orthopedic oncology and that is about cartilaginous tumors of bone and specifically we are going to talk about endochondromas. So uh, uh, what I have prepared is a big topic which is about the cartilaginous tumors of bone which includes so many different histological entities. But today I am just going to take a particular subtype and that is enchondroma and uh, I will present it with an example. The common uh, condition uh, where it, it is a common condition and many often we encounter it in our clinical practice when we see some patients with the incidentally detected lesions which looks like a chondroid lesion and we are not sure whether it is, uh, it is the cause of pain or the symptoms or it is just an incidental finding or sometimes we have a doubt whether this is some sort of malignant lesion or it is a benign lesion which is just incidentally detected. So how do we go about it? I, I would suggest that uh, you should go through my previous lectures on how to approach a bone tumor because that gives an overall picture of how we should approach a pathological lesion of the bone or how we proceed in approaching a uh, abnormal x-ray. But now we are focusing more on the histological subtypes and uh, particularly which is which what we face more commonly in our clinical practice. So uh, when we talk about cartilaginous tumors of the bone, WHO classified them into benign type, the intermediate categories and the malignant ones. Why it is important to classify them? Because this gives us a prognostic marker how they are going to behave, the bi biological behavior and this also helps us to formulate the treatment plan. Like if you see the benign lesions like we have osteochondroma and enchondroma, many a times these can be left as such if they are accidentally or incidentally detected. The other variety on the other spectrum is the malignant tumor what we call as chondrosarcomas. They are uh, classified into grade 1 which is typically low grade type of chondrosarcoma and then grade 2 and 3 which is intermediate and high grade. It is also important that we have to differentiate whether it is grade 1 or grade 2 and 3 because the margins of resection, the prognosis, everything matters. It changes in both the cases. We will go into the details of that once we come to the malignant portion that is the, about the chondrosarcoma. The other common conditions which are the intermediate grade, so basically these are locally aggressive ones and they require treatment because of their aggressive nature. They tend to destroy the bone uh, locally, they can cause pathological fractures and so it requires some sort of treatment and commonly what we see are the chondromyxoid fibromas and the chondroblastoma. So today the topic of interest is about osteochondroma. Why we need to identify them and judge them? It's because the treatment plan will vary a lot on what type of histological subtype it is. The treatment also depends upon other factors like the location which is an important criteria and the biological behavior. What do I mean by that? So in general when we talk about osteochondroma or enchondroma we classify them into a benign variety. But many a times their behavior may be in a locally aggressive fashion, something where it fits into this, where it is destructive to the bone and it can cause pathological fracture or presence with impending pathological fracture with pain or stiffness of the bone involved. So we will go through it one by one. Uh, talking about enchondroma, so basically it is a benign cartilaginous tumor which is uh, formation from the hyaline cartilage. By definition it is located in the medullary canal of the tubular bone. So what are the tubular bones like we have uh, fingers, we have your humerus, your thigh bone, leg bone and so if we look at the location it is typically presents as a 
central lesion and uh, most common presentation it is it is in the hand so it is the most common tumor of hand when it comes to the uh, most common cartilaginous tumor it is the osteochondroma the osteochondroma overall is the most common cartilaginous tumor and the second most common uh, osteochondroma it is also most common benign tumor as well whereas enchondromas are the second most common cartilaginous tumor there are different theories how it arises and uh, one of the theories is that uh, it is due to defect in the endochondral ossification endochondral ossification normally where it is seen it's seen near the metaphyseal area normally it is said that the there is defect in the ossification and there are cartilage remnants which remains inside and then it presents like uh, uh, like a uh, tumor there so why it is important that we identify them properly one they they tend to behave in a different manner apart from situations where it is accidentally detected many a times these tumors may be locally aggressive and there are certain percentage of chance that they may have malignant transformation risk so if we talk about solitary enchondromas they have around 1% risk of malignant transformation so i've covered it how do we identify which condition we need to see that they have the risk of malignant transformation in detail so we'll go there after this